Hey scrappers, I'm gonna answer a question that comes in a lot and it is what is the difference between all these different grades of aluminum? I have one of the scale managers here at the yard with me and he's going to explain a little bit on some of the differences here. So Johnny, there's so much aluminum here and to your average person it almost all looks the same. What's the difference between pieces over here and pieces here? How can we tell what the difference is? So often enough, a lot of people come in and be like, I, I, I want to sell it at 6063 or 6061. A lot of the times they'll bring in pieces like this. This was actually a hard drive, but the outside is all aluminum. So they took it apart, brought it over. Unfortunately, stuff like this is always going to be sheet. While it looks pretty and everything, these materials, the way they do it is it's going to be a giant piece like this a thousand pounds and they will squish it and roll it until it becomes flat to something they would want to to use so same thing same process to squish this down and then they'll end up punching it out well this still becomes sheet the other part is they they will bring something in like this it's very heavy duty you would think it was a uh, 61 unfortunately it's not it's cast aluminum if you look on the inside of it if it's ever crushed, you can always hit it with a hammer or something. And you notice all these little indents, that, those are impurities. Those are things like zinc that gets attached. These things are tossed in, in a sand mold and kind of made this way. You will notice that because you'll notice small engravings, small little dots, those kind of things. Same thing for this piece. While it's still cast, you can tell all the little indents and stuff. Those are where the, the material, the aluminum was poured in and you'll see a lot of grainy areas. Unfortunately, like I said, those will never be 6063, 6061 or extruded. 